Hi, this is Dr. Johnny Nelson at uh, Raleigh Upper X in the Bone and Joint Surgery Clinic. And uh, this video is meant to tell you a little bit about ultrasound guided carpal tunnel release and exactly what is it, right? So uh, there are different ways of doing uh, every surgical procedure. Um, and, and, and especially when it comes to carpal tunnel uh, release for carpal tunnel syndrome, uh, there are many different ways to, to do that, anything from a uh, big open open uh, incision in the palm to what's called endoscopic to ultrasound guided carpal tunnel release. And even within those those methods, there are different ways of, of doing those things. So the main uh, uh, goal of this video is to tell you, you know, what a, what is ultrasound guided carpal tunnel release and how is it different from, from other procedures. So uh, the main thing to understand about this is how, how it's done, is that the technique is different. Um, and and it's, it's different in two ways. So it's, it's different in that the incision is in a different location and it's different in the way that I see and I perform the procedure as your surgeon, as your carpal tunnel surgeon. So uh, ultrasound guided carpal tunnel release is done um, through a small incision. So unlike uh, old surgeries, um, which I still do for certain reasons, um, old carpal tunnel releases were typically done through an incision right here at the base of the palm, right? Um, and, and through that incision, we cut down through the layers of tissue until we get to that the ligament that's pressing on the nerve and we release the pressure on that nerve. And usually we tunnel a little bit this way and a little bit this way into the wrist to really make sure that that, that nerve is, uh, all the pressure is taken off of that nerve. Um, there's also other ways called endoscopic, right, which are a little bit uh, that I'm also very familiar with um, uh, that it require a little incision right here at the base of the palm. Now, ultrasound guided carpal tunnel release kind of takes that to the next level, right? So as, as the years go on, our incisions have gotten smaller, and we're able to do the same thing through smaller incisions. So now, the endoscopic or the ultrasound guided carpal tunnel releases are done through a tiny incision about yay big right here at the base of the palm. And, and through that incision, we're able to do everything that formally we needed to make that open incision on the palm for. And as I, as I mentioned, there are still indications and there are still um, situations where either uh, open carpal tunnel release or endoscopic carpal tunnel release are still performed, including by myself. But, but, the, but the ultrasound guided carpal tunnel release for the right patient for the right reason is, is a really great procedure. So it's new in that way in that the incision is different, right? Uh, number two, it's different in, in what we use. So the device that we use, I have one here um, that we use to release the, the, the carpal tunnel. Basically, this device is what is inserted into the wrist. So this device actually goes in just like this into that little poke incision in your wrist. And uh, it's ex extended into that little tunnel where the nerve is. And you'll see there's a little teeny knife blade right there that goes back and forth. And that knife blade will basically uh, slightly open that carpal tunnel and takes it from a very restricted tunnel that will not get any bigger uh, and slightly opens it a little bit. And what that does is it allows new blood flow into the nerve and it what's, what's called decompresses the nerve or takes pressure off of the nerve. So that's what that, um, uh, the ultrasound guided carpal tunnel release is different. And the second way is that that device that's used um, now, the third thing is, is how it's performed, right? Which is the biggest difference, difference for you as the patient. So it's performed uh, in a special way, which is ultrasound guided, right? So there's three main ways that we do carpal tunnel release in terms of how the surgeon, how I see what I'm doing, right? Number one is the old fashioned way, which is still a good way, right? Um, from the standpoint of doing things safely and, and, um, and that includes basically me as the surgeon looking at what I'm doing, draw it straight with my eyes, right? Usually we use special operating microscopes and we look through those just to magnify everything. Uh, but that is how the standard open releases are, are still done. And as I mentioned, I still do those for, for certain things. The other way is endoscopic. So endoscopic um, is a way of releasing the carpal tunnel. As I mentioned, endoscopic. And, and what an endoscopic is, is that there's a little thing called an endoscope and, and that basically is a camera on the end of a small stick. And instead of me looking straight at what I'm doing with my own eyes, I put that little stick inside the carpal tunnel and I'm looking at a television screen that shows me what the camera is seeing. So that's called endoscopic. And, and that's just a different way of seeing what we're doing. Now, ultrasound guided is different in that I'm not looking at it straight with my eyes. I'm not looking at a camera uh, or a TV screen. I'm actually looking at an ultrasound image. Um, so with one hand, I hold an ultrasound probe, right? Which is just a little transducer with one hand. And then I perform 
and hold the device uh, with, with the other hand. And I'm able to do both of those things at the same time. And so I will be holding the probe with one hand, looking at the ultrasound screen, and I will be seeing all those structures around that nerve, um, and, and, and including blood vessels uh, and the nerve, and, and in order to keep them safe and to do this surgery well, I'll be using that ultrasound. Um, and, and so this device is actually specially engineered so that it has the little balloons on it that you can see really well on ultrasound. So you know exactly where that little knife is at all times. Um, you know exactly, and that's one of the main benefits I think of this procedure is that um, you know, it can be done very safely because the ultrasound, unlike even with open surgeries where we don't always see things until you're very, very close to them, I know the minute I put that ultrasound transducer on the skin, I know exactly where that nerve is, I know where the blood vessels are, um, and I know ev where everything is that I need to do. Um, and so that's one benefit of the ultrasound guided procedure. So that's how it's different, right? So it's different in the uh, device that's used, it's different in the incision, and it's also different in the way that I'm able to perform this. Now, this has other implications, right? So because it's performed differently and it's performed in a different way, um, it changes the way that you as the patient experience this procedure, right? So for one example is no tourniquet, right? So normally with hand surgery, we have to put a tight squeezer on your arm and uh, that squeezes all the blood out of the, the hand so that the surgeon can see either through the endoscope or with his own eyes. Now with this procedure, we don't need that. And in fact, we want there to be blood flow to the arm because we want to be able to see those blood vessels pulsing. And so it changes that, and for some patients, the tourniquet can be intimidating and it can be uncomfortable for them uh, to have that really tight squeezer on their forearm. Uh, so it changes that. It also changes the anesthesia involved. Um, patients that have ultrasound guided carpal tunnel release, this, this procedure is much more like, I tell patients, this is almost like an injection, because you can imagine, see this little thing right here. It's almost about the size of a needle. It's obviously bigger than a needle, but uh, it's more like having an injection, and who has anesthesia to have an injection? Nobody has that. Um, nobody has anesthesia for an injection. So the anesthesia is much more simple. It's really just some numbing medicine right here. Um, whereas if you're doing open surgery, uh, either through uh, e either because of the you know your your fear, your anxiety about having open surgery, you may need anesthesia. Uh, it's also a little bit harder to keep the patient comfortable during uh, open surgery. So hopefully that's helpful to kind of tell you about what ultrasound guided carpal tunnel release is, how it's different uh, from the other ways of releasing um, the um, carpal tunnel. If you have any other questions about this, of course, ask me during one of our visits. Um, I uh, hope to put other materials out soon to kind of tell you a little bit more about this procedure, maybe an ultrasound anatomy video um, about the hand and wrist. So, from Johnny Nelson, uh, Raleigh Upper X, and the Bone and Joint Surgery Clinic. Hope you're well, and uh, stay tuned. Bye-bye.